The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. The session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia. Stamps for issued dedicated to Charles Lansnavur and Misak Manishan. What kind of Europe is Armenia preparing for? Training monsters of reservists in Eastern Armenia. Earthquake in the southeast of Kar city. On the question of the Armenians of Western Armenia. Azerbaijan dismantled Shar Nazdanvur monument in Artsakh. A session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia took place on February 28th, uh, the first convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia. Armena Gabriel the first president of the Republic of Western Armenia, did the opening of the session and spoke on the agenda matters. The Speaker of the National Assembly addressed to the agenda issues, including the procedure of writing and presenting drafts, plans, and reports of the law, which is clearly formulated in the internal regulations of the National Assembly of Armenia. It was also discussed to send a letter of gratitude to the French government, the parliament, and the state for holding the ceremony of Misak Manushan. The deputies offered to mention all those who sacrificed their lives for the sake of Armenia and the world. We added the names of the candidates of those who wished to join to the National Assembly committees. Summarizing the session, the chairperson of the National Assembly once again urged to write and sign the confidentiality rules and text on the off. Stamps were issued in France dedicated to Charles Lanzamour and Misak Manushan. French Philaposte has published a collection of four stamps dedicated to the hero of resistance Misak Manushan and legendary singer Charles Naznavur. The stamps were handed with the presence of the Armenian ambassador Hasmik Tolmajan, vice president of the Senate Pierre Ozulians, and Bryce Rocafe, director of continental Europe of the Ministry of France, Europe and Foreign Affairs, Misha Aznavur, son of Charles Naznavur, and Katia Giragosan, niece of Misak Manushan. What kind of Europe is Armenia preparing for? Journalist Hakob Badalian writes as following. Deputies of the government majority of the Armenian parliament announced that the European parliament has adopted new resolutions against Azerbaijan calling on the European Union to impose sanctions and stop energy cooperation agreements with Baku, which European Union signed in July 22. Moreover, this information is delivered as if the Armenian preliminary diplomacy has reached the adoption of these resolutions in the event that the Armenian parliament has perhaps ex excellently followed the broadcast of the discussion. The resolutions of the European parliament are in the direction over the past two or three years, but they don't seem to change any situation fundamentally, and they may have only consultative nature, like, for example, the resolution adopted in the French chambers of National Assembly. So why doesn't the European Parliament make mandatory resolutions when the leadership of the executive body of the European Union in the European Commission cannot disobey the adopted res resolutions? However, there are such the resolutions, although it is the European Parliament that formed the European Commission and the European Commission executes with the rules adopted by the European Parliament. In the current year, it is more unrealistic to expect the fundamental changes in the policy of European Union as for European Union it is an election year. European Parliament elections will take place in June and accordingly new European gover governing bodies will be formed, a new European Commission and the new leadership of the European Council. It will in fact mean de facto transition a year during which the main task of Armenia regarding the European Union should perhaps be to consider and prepare for various scenarios regarding the European elections in order to understand what kind of Europe we will have to deal with at the end of the year. Training of reservists in Eastern Armenia. From April 1 to June 28, training camps for reservists will be held from April 1 to June in Eastern Armenia. Training sessions, first group of reservists, enlisted rank and file, non-commissions of officers and officers will be held in 2024 from April 1 to June 28, including. The decision was taken at the session of the government of Eastern Armenia. Up to 40,700 citizens will be involved in the training sessions of which are rank and file and junior non-commissioner officers and 144 are senior non-commissioner officers and the reservists of the officer corps with combined motorized rifle, C communication, reconciliation, engineering and rocket artillery especially will be included. 
The training sessions are announced for the purpose of improving the military abilities of the reservists, profession training and preparation training of reservists with officers from non-commissioned officers with higher education involvement in combat duty, was said in the justification of the decision. Each citizen will be involved in training sessions for a period of no more than 25 calendar days, up to 25 units of road, construction vehicles, excavators, these diggers will also be involved to ensure training sessions. Earthquake in southeast part of Kars. On February 28, an earthquake was recorded by the Seismological Network of the Seismic Protection Regional Service of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Eastern Armenia. This was reported by the REC Service of the Ministry of Internal Affairs. The strength of the underground shock in the epicentral zone was 5 points. The earthquake took place in the village of Anipesma and Jarapi in Shitakmar with a magnitude of 2 and 3. On the issue of Armenians in Western Armenia, it is known that among the founders of the Turkish government and its rulers till the 1950s and 1960s, the majority number were former young Turks who incorporated various manifestations by their racist ideology into official Turkish politics. It was especially well obvious in 1923-1915 during the rule of the single ruling of the Republican People's Party. During that time, the native hoped to see a certain change in the policy towards them, which however did not implement a deep sense. During the years of power of the Democratic Party, 1950, alongside the few and superficial positive development regarding the condition of the natives, an incident occurred that dealt a significant and devastating blow to the non-Muslim natives and especially to the Armenian and Greek communities. On September 6, it was mainly pogroms. Massacres organized against Armenian and Greeks in Constantinople. You can read about the events that took place in 1955 on September 6 and 7 on the website of Western Armenian TV. Azerbaijan has dismantled the monument of Sharlan Znavur in Artsakh. The Artsakh State Council for the Protection of Cultural Heritage warns about the nether vandalism that took place in the Panagyard by Azerbaijan. The Azerbaijan administrative staff has dismantled the Sharlan Znavur monument, which was erected in 2022 on the occasion of the fam famous singer 100th anniversary locating next to the Paul Elward Franskopin Center in Stepanagard. Earlier, the monuments of writer Hakop Hakopian, national philanthropist Alek Manukyan, Russian dictator Alexander Miasnikyan, Soviet soldier Admiral Isokov, Anatoly Zinevich, Christopher Ivanian, and others' monuments were dismantled too. The monument of Ashot Gulyan and Artsakh hero was also dismantled in the same park in Stepanagard. We also learned from the materials published on the internet that the graves of those heroes who died in Artsakh World War of independence are being vandalized too, says the Post. This was all for today. Goodbye.